Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. Have you ever heard of mean, median, and mode? Well, these are examples of a concept called measures of central tendency in statistics. A measure of central tendency is a kind of middle or representative number for what is typical in a data set. Three such measures are mean, median, and mode, and we're going to discuss one of these in this video. Let's talk about mode. The mode of a data set is the value that occurs the most often. Sometimes a distribution is bimodal, which means it has two modes. So two different data values are kind of tied for first place in the number of times they appear in the data set. In a large distribution, this term is commonly applied even when the two modes aren't exactly the same frequency. So if you, have, if you have thousands and thousands of data values and you have two data values that are pretty close to the same frequency, um, you know, maybe each of them occurs about a hundred times, they might still call it bimodal. Just a little special note, other textbooks may refer to multimodal, which would mean that it has, you know, three modes or four modes, but we will just say that there's no mode when there are more than two. The reason that I mention this is because I know that in the school where I teach, the statistics class has a different textbook from this class, and in the statistics class they talk about multimodal. So let's look at an example of finding the mode of a data set. So here we have our example of 10 students in a math class. They're polled as to the number of siblings in their individual families. And they said there were three, two, two, one, three, six, three, three, four, and two. We're supposed to find the mode for the number of siblings. Well, looking through the list, which one appears the most often? So you notice that there are four threes and none of the other data values occurs four times or more. So three is the mode for the number of siblings. You can also quite easily find the mode for a frequency distribution. In fact, this might be the easiest question on the test. What's the mode for this distribution? So all you have to do is look through the number of times the data value appears in the set, which is listed as its frequency, and you can see that eight is the largest frequency, so that means that five is the mode. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.